care to dance? Rhodes University's Dance Sport invites its students to channel their energy towards raising funds for the organization Dance for a Cure. The event began with various fitness exercises and moved on to Latin dancing, the cha-cha, the rumba and samba. Okay, so basically because we do dancing, you have to think to yourself, um, how do we reach a wide, a wide target audience? So the thing is, we're a small group of dancers normally in the university. Um, so to sort of have a greater outreach, we were like, everybody goes to gym, everybody does aerobics, everybody wants to get fit. So it's a really good way for us to showcase that dance can be fun and be used in an aerobics context. Uh, this year we got in touch with an organization we didn't know existed before, but they're also called Dance for a Cure. Um, and they help uh, in orphanages throughout South Africa, and they help vaccinate uh, small girls especially against the human papillomavirus, which leads to cervical cancer. So we're trying to uh, raise money this year to go towards that, because each treatment is three injections, and the total per child is already 1,800 rand. So just to cover that, we're already going to have to try and get quite a few people to get here. Delitia, Dr. Davis Optometrist, GHD South Africa and Pan South Africa are a few of the sponsors that donated prizes to the event. As you can see, Dance for a Cure has brought out a huge turnout of people who have not only come here to learn how to dance, but also to raise funds and awareness for the initiative. This is Olaato Mangale reporting for OPTV.